Hi, I'm Jamie Cannell. I'm one of the wellness coordinators here. I work with Be Well at Work, and then I also work for um, Core Health. And today's presentation, or I've been here two years with the organization, and I'm also a certified personal trainer, a yoga instructor, as well as most recently, precision nutrition coach. So today's format's gonna be a little bit different. Um, it'll still be the traditional 20 minutes in length, but we're going to use some of the precision, precision nutrition handouts. Um, I find them to be just a little eye-catching and kind of fun, something different. So we'll try this route and see how it goes. So like I said, we're talking about balancing stress and, and life nutrition in general. So a lot of great topics, um, but just as you know, life has changed a lot since we were kids and uh, we still have the same 24 hours in the day. However, uh, 16 of those are spent either working or sleeping. And I think we can all agree, probably more than more working than sleeping. Um, but it's expected also that we are to be available 24 hours a day. Uh, we've become accustomed to that and we expect that immediate response. That adds some stress to our lives. So today, I want you to think about the theme being balance, finding some tools that can make your life a little easier, but not perfection. Um, balance is reasonable, and you're gonna find your balance, and uh, tomorrow's gonna be a little bit better. So I'm gonna share one of our first pages on stress, and there's different types of stress, obviously. There's good stress, there's bad stress. Let that come up. And you can kind of see your sweet spot. You know, you're going along your day, you're kind of bored. Something is starting to brew, it's getting your attention, but you've got it under control. Suddenly it starts to freak out, you're crashing and burning. And that's a lot of stress example. It's just ebbs and flows throughout the day. You can't protect, uh, predict when stress is going to hit. What you, can, what you can do is identify your sweet spot for stress. So I want you to be mindful that stress isn't just about how you're reacting. Sometimes you're wired a certain way. Your genetics plays a role in how you're going to act as stress. So you can identify your stress is too low, you're lethargic, you're bored, unfocused. Stress just right a little bit of stress is a little good for us. It challenges us to stay alert and be ready to be reactive. I, we're energized, we're engaged, we're moving toward goals, we're getting better, learning, and growing. When stress is too high, this is what, when you start to worry because you become anxious, you become obsessive, you're worried about this one particular stressor all the time. Perhaps you become depressed and you disconnect from your work, from your friends. Um, you're panicked because you just don't know if the situation is going to get better. So identify your sweet spot. Now let's identify one tool today that you can use to get where you want to be. One thing we've heard a lot about in the organization is meditation. You do not have to be a Buddhist monk to be a good meditator. You can start with a minute. You can start with taking eight breaths. You can start by sitting in your car, turning everything off, putting your phone down and breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. A pretty effective tool is sitting in silence and it's called four, seven, eight. You sit still, hands on your lap. You take a deep breath in through the nose for four. You hold for seven and you exhale for eight. You repeat that three times. Maybe that is a great number for you. Maybe after three times, you're still not feeling it and you need to do more. There's no right or wrong, but what you can see is this is gonna lower the blood pressure, the heart rate, the stress hormones, the inflammation, just by slowing down the system. Lastly, when dealing with stress, I found this to be pretty amazing. Practice self-compassion. Ask for help when you need it. There's no shame in that. People want to help, ask for it. Get coaching if you feel stuck. Know your limits, honor those limits. Take care of you and unplug yourself once a week. Even if it's only for 30 minutes when you get home and you're making dinner, or maybe you're sitting in your car and you just need a few minutes of silence, drop waiting for Junior to be picked up at, at soccer practice, turn the phone off, sit there and just observe silence. These are some things that can help practice your self-compassion. You deserve it. You're doing a great job.
So what else is do we have to look at in life? Sleep. Now we're going to have a great presentation, you know, in a few on sleep. But I thought today we would just touch on it, sleep, touch on it, just to kind of see what does sleep. What 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 could I tell you about sleep? There are some signs that sleep isn't working for you. One of them is your mind is foggy. You wake up just in a fog. So when you get adequate sleep, your brain, it's kind of like when you charge your phone. It's a charging station for your brain. That is why consistent sleep is a recharger. It's vital to you functioning at your best. Brain fog is real. You wake up, you feel a little not as alert. You're unable to focus. Maybe you can't seem to function properly. You can't decide if you want to put the sandwich in the cooler first or the celery. It's little things like that that we're debating with ourselves when we're kind of brain foggy. Another thing that sleep affects is mood. It increases the stress. Your mind is not ready to handle the stressors that are going to be thrown at it. So that is why sleep is crucial for your body and your mind. So in prepping for bed, just a few simple tips. Like I said, we're going to have a great presentation where we'll have another lunch and learn that really focuses on stress. But one tactic, a tool, and I said we would talk about tools that I thought you could take away from this is really keeping a notepad by your bed, just going back to old school. When you get to your bedroom at night and you lay down, if you have any thoughts still running around in your mind, write them down. Your mind can rest. It got them out. They're not going to be forgotten. And then you have documentation that, hey, I remembered that, I wrote it down, I'm good to go. And your mind can release that. It can just let it go into the sky for later. And then you'll see sleep at least seven hours. Seven hours might not be everybody's sweet spot. It might not be um, a possibility right now in, in your stage in life. That's okay. Find out what works for you. Maybe you're only gonna get five hours, but make it the same five hours throughout the course of the week. That's okay. Like I said, we're not looking for uh, perfection. We're looking for balance and find something that works for you and be consistent for your body. Our body likes routine and sleep consistency is going to be setting you up for success. So moving along, just being respectful of your time, we're gonna move to, that, to the nutrition aspect, that weekly meal prep. And again, we're looking at tools for balance not perfection. So let's say you're just starting to really get a grip on your kid's schedule or your spouse's schedule. Your work schedule might be a little different right now. So preparation is the key here. So just like we talked about taking, you know, two to three minutes to meditate, I want you to find a day on the weekend, or maybe your weekend is Monday, Tuesday. That's okay. That's great. Find a day that works for you, or you can look ahead at the week. What's going on? What does your family have going on? Set small goals for yourself. This week, I'm going to make two meals. One meal might be breakfast. And then one meal might be, I'm going to have a lean pork chop. We're going to have a bag of salad mix. We're going to have some baked potatoes. Easiness is the key. You're, we're not looking for you to make these elegant dinners. We're looking for you to put healthy food on the table for yourself, to nourish yourself, nourish your family. So look ahead, make a menu, and then shop. It's just as easy as that. Like I said, we want to make life manageable and easy because we don't need the stress of perfection. So there's a lot more tips that I would definitely love to share with you. So and being respectful of your time, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot them in the text box in the chat. Um, I would love to take a minute to answer them. Um, a couple of things while you're typing is the word for this is well-being. There'll be um, a Teams uh, for uh, Microsoft Forms link that you can submit that and then you'll submit your employee number for your points. Uh, this just please be mindful that I won't have your points done immediately. It'll take um, a little bit for that to appear in your account. But if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to myself or Andrew or Natalie and we can certainly get you answered. I know we're getting close to the end of the program. So um, again, the word is well-being. 
Um, doesn't look like we have any questions. So I appreciate your time and I look forward to hearing your feedback. And if you have any requests for programs moving forward, uh, we'd love to hear it. Thanks so much.